Adam, 5-2 away defeat today. You never gave yourselves a chance, I don't think. No. Um, first and foremost, I want to apologise on behalf of all the boys. It ain't good enough. There's no excuse. It's not me coming on and apologising just for something to say. It's a genuine one. And especially for me personally, it, it was just disgusting that first. It, it was disgusting. The familiarity of the three goals they progressively arguably got, got worse in their yep. simplicity for Blythe and, and that must be worrying. Yeah, it's messages are being we're getting so much information from the staff you, you, there's not even an inch of doubt that they're not doing anything right, they're doing everything in their power, there isn't anything more they can possibly do, it is all about us players now, it is getting to the point where you can only tell people certain things and certain amount of times and they have to learn, they have to look at each other we have to look at each other, sorry, and it has to become a problem. It doesn't look like it's a problem to some at the minute, and some of them have got to grow up and take information on board and be more ruthless and be more demanding and be more nasty if they have to be, because it's going to be a long season otherwise. And you can have all the preparation in the world. You can have an overnight stay yep. and, and video clips and GPS yep. and everything. Goes out the window, mate. If people can't head the ball, it presumes, like you say, goes yeah, out the window. goes out the window. It's not even so much as heading the ball. It's just being close to people. It's get, having a man, having responsibility. And it's a personal pride. It's Your man's not going to score. You, do you know what I mean? It, it is that Like I said, from the football club point of view, even beyond the, even beyond the staff, behind the scenes of the football, they've, they've put on two overnights now. We've been, we've been battered both times. It's not good enough. You, I don't think there's... There'll be not every team in this league gets what we've got. And... You can't ask for more with the managers up. I know he. I know him. I know what he's like. He's watching video clips. I bet his wife hates him. He just lives for football, and he gives us so much information. And maybe some of them aren't. Maybe used to that, and it's difficult for him. But there's nothing more that anybody else can do apart from the players. Now it's all on our toes. And strong words from you tonight, as I presume they were in the dressing room. Is yeah. that really now going to be a springboard towards Monday night? It's got to be. It's, I think the good thing in football. I mean, like I said. Uh, Southport the only positive is that you've got a chance to put it right I mean but how many times can you keep saying that you, you can't have two three average good weeks and then get battered and then go well we've got a game coming up to put it right it's, yeah it's, we, we have but it's still not good enough it can't happen it can't be it can't be two two three games positive and then just absolutely shoot yourself in the temple it, it's rubbish to be honest it's, it, yeah and the words at half time and full time it yeah, it's just not good. I don't know. I don't want to say too much because what has been said has been said, and I think I'd like to think it has registered with a lot of us, myself included. I'm not taking myself out of this, and it has registered with a lot. So it is literally on the. It's either the players want to be here or they'll not. They'll not be here. It's as simple as that.